Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Up You Juicy Pang Mousse Tint Dried Fruit Edition. Now, what possessed me to pick these up? I don't know, because when I got them I was like, what are those? Like, brownie red oranges? Like, so not my normal cup of tea. So, I cannot actually tell you why I decided to buy these. I did get them from YesStyle in my most recent order, still waiting for that Tester Korea order. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know what possessed me to pick these up, but they're here and we're going to talk about them. So for these ones, like always, I am going to have a product description, packaging, swatches, and final thoughts. So if you'd like to skip to any of these points, please do so now. So the product description for these ones says, soft mousse-like lip tint with silky velvety finish. Its highly adhesive and moisturizing formula glides on lips smoothly and offers long lasting color. Dried fruit edition comes in four colors, dried persimmon, tomato, lychee, and mulberry. The packaging of these products is fairly simple. They come with a matching top and then they have a clear frosted outer. This seems like it would be easy to tell them apart, but because the four colors are so similar, um, I actually do need to look at the shade names on the bottom of each label to tell which one I am picking up, which is unfortunate, um, but it's my fault for purchasing a collection that is so similar. They have a doe foot applicator, which makes the application super easy. There are four colors in the collection and and like I just said before, they're really quite similar. Obviously, they're not exactly the same, just similar. So the first shade is CR06, and I'm going to try and do a little gradient using the finger, which gives a really nice sheer application. So this is how it would look if I was just doing a really, really light layer, and this is how it looks as a full layer. I think it's a really pretty color. I'm not super into it, um, but I still think it is really nice. I'm not really sure why I picked this collection, but it is a really nice sort of like burnt orange sort of color. So this is CR06. The next shade is CR07, so I'll do the same gradient. So this is how it would look as a gradient. Um, this is probably not one of my favorite colors, but it's okay. And then I'll do a full lip cover as well. And this is how the full lip cover looks. Again, it's not my favorite color, but that's okay. That's just my personal preference. I still think that the color itself is nice. It's just not one that I would reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. I do really like the formula of these products though. They are really soft and velvety without feeling too silicone, which is really nice. So this is CR07. RD04 is one of the red shades. And this is how this one looks as a gradient. I think this is one of the colors that I picked up um, when I was looking at the collection that I thought I would like. It's quite nice as a gradient um, or as a sheer application. It's not quite as intense as the full application, which I'm going to do now. It's still a really pretty color. It's probably, again, not one that I would reach for that often. Um, it's a really nice sort of like dusty rose. I think maybe as the weather turns a little bit colder in a few months, I might reach for it more, but I will kind of wait to see um, how I grow then. So this is RD04. The last shade is RD05, which is a deeper red. So this one is looking really nice as a sheer cover. Um, it is blending in with the staining on my lip a little bit, but it is a really nice um, sheared out color. I really like this one with less coverage. And this is how it looks as a full lip cover. I think that this color is quite nice. It's kind of got like almost dull berry tones to it. That's a terrible explanation, but it's a really pretty color. Um, again, I haven't had that much wear out of it at the moment because it is summertime in New Zealand and I kind of gravitate towards the lighter pinks, but I think that this may be one that I wear more often in autumn. There's only one color that I don't really like out of this whole collection, even though like I feel like I'm not so jazzed about it. I feel like it's just the wrong time of the year for me. So this is RD05. So for these ones, I am still kind of on the fence. So in terms of the formula, they have a really pleasant formula. It feels nice on the lips, though it can get slightly drying throughout the day, so you do have to reapply. I've had mine on for two hours and yeah, I felt the need to put just a little bit more on because my lips are feeling slightly dry. However, they don't really fade that much unless you eat or drink, in which case you will eat or drink the lipstick away. They do not last on your lips forever. They do have that really nice moussey consistency. It's not very silicone-y, so it's more of a thicker mousse. It's quite nice. I find it very comfortable on the lips and I don't feel like irritated by it or wanting to take it off, which is really good. I do have like a slightly bitter taste. It's not terrible. Again, I don't go around eating the lipstick, but if you lick your lips from something, you will taste a slightly bitter taste. Nothing to worry about. All in all, it's a nice lip tint. I just wish that I didn't get this collection because I'm not jazzed about the colors. I can't help it. Um, 
But yeah, if you like the colors that are in the collection, I would recommend them because I think that they are really pretty, even though they're not my cup of tea and they work really well. I think they're flattering on lips and they definitely last long enough and you just need to top them up every so often. It sounds like I'm like not impressed at all, but like I have so many lipsticks and I've tried so many of them in the past that I'm like, it's quite similar to quite a few other things. Um, it doesn't really stand out. And so, yes, they're nice. And if you like the colors, that's probably the thing that makes them most different. So that's why I say, if you like the colors, you should get them. <laughs> if you don't like the colors, there are definitely other options out there. So what do you guys think? Should I be keeping this collection and waiting for autumn to see if I like them? Or should I just let them go? Let me know what you think. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.